Okay, so let's look at some more applications. In the last video, what you're going to notice that's different from the last one to this one, and it's going to be the, mo most, the case most of the time, they haven't set anything up for us. In the previous problem that we did in the last video, let me scroll up and take a look, you can see that they have set the distribution up for you. That's not the case in this problem. So it says that assuming the packages are sent from a post office during one particular hour had mean weights that are uniformly distributed between 1.8 and 11.8 pounds. Find the probability that a random package selected has a weight between 2.2 and 5.7 pounds. So I'm going to list some steps out here to ste help us. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up our distribution and find the height. That's going to be a good first step. So let's set up our distribution. We have this graph here. And so it says my distribution is between 1.8 and 11.8 pounds, right? So you can put this on a, like we could count up by a certain amount. But for the sake of this problem, I'm just going to put 1.8 on the left, 11.8 on the right. It really doesn't matter how tall we construct this distribution. It doesn't really need to be to scale. And so there's my distribution. And again, it's not a perfectly rectangular. If you had a rule or something like that, you could use it. But um, just for the purposes of this problem, I'm just going to draw a rough sketch of it. Now, I've, got, I've set up my distribution, but I've got to find the height. <clears throat> now, we need to think about this. We remember, remember that underneath my whole distribution, we talked about this in the last video, what's the area? The area under the distribution is equal to 1, right? So I'm going to go back to my equation, area is equal to base times height. We know the area is equal to 1. Now let's think about if we know what this base is. Well, if I look at my numbers down here, and I figure, okay, it starts at 1.8, and it goes to 11.8, we can find this distance by doing 11.8 minus 1.8. You can find a distance, or our base here, by subtracting these values. 11.8 minus 1.8 is 10. So we know we also know our base is 10. So I'm going to put 10 in here, and then we're going to leave h. Now, how can I get the h by itself? We're going to use a pretty simple algebra trick, which is this is multiplication, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So I divide both sides by 10, and we get 1 over 10 is our height. You could represent that as a decimal as well. I'm going to leave it as a fraction, as one-tenth here, but we labeled our height. That was just the first step. This is what students typically forget, is they don't know or they don't remember that you've got to set up your initial di distribution first. We haven't even ran really answered our question yet. So now the second step is, after setup, we need to find our probability. So it says, find the probability that a randomly selected package has a weight between 2.2 and 5.7. So 2.2 is right here. Let's say 5.7 is somewhere right around here. And it's between, right? So it's between. So we're going to shade the area in the middle. So how do I find, now I'm, how do I find this probability? Well, we need to figure out what this base is. Again, we're going to use the same trick we used before. We're going to do 5.7. Whoops, I'll do this off to the side. It's going to be, our base is going to be 5.7 minus 2.2, which is equal to 3.5. So our probability that x is, actually, let's back this up. How would we write this in any inequality? Well, it's between 2.2 and 5.7. So we're going to put 2.2 here. We're going to put our x in the middle. We're going to put 5.7 on the right, and then with these compound inequalities, we have the x's or the inequalities both opening to the right. Because if you read this, this says x is greater than 2.2 and x is less than 5.7. So we're going to do the same process, which is base times height. What is our base here? We found that our base was 3.5, and our height is 1 tenth. 
<clears throat> now I know I have one that's a decimal and one that's a fraction, so I'm just going to use my calculator here. It's going to be 3.5 times parentheses 1 over 10. We can write this as a decimal fraction or percent. This gives us a 0.35. Wait, yeah, 0.35. So I get 0 0.35. Or the probability that a package is between 2.2 and 5.7 is 35%. Okay, let's take a look at another example here. It says, um, your notes might be slightly different. I changed this number to 70 because I didn't want it to be too similar to the problem before. But if it says the lengths of our statistics classes are uniformly distributed between 70 and 82 minutes, find the probability that a given class session will run more than 78 minutes. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to do the same thing we did before and we're going to do our setup and height. So uh, 70 and 82 minutes, I'm going to put 70 right here. I'm going to put 82 right here. And we're going to set this distribution up. Again, doesn't really matter how nice this looks. You do want to make it look like a rectangle or as close to a rectangle as you can. So we got our setup. Now we need to go find that height. Remember that we know underneath our entire distribution, our area is 1. We're going to go find this base as well. How do we find the base? We're going to find this distance right here by doing 80 minus 72, which gives us 12. So um, we've got our area is 1. We know our base is 12. We're going to use that area is equal to base times height formula. The area is 1. The base is 12. We don't know the height. To get the height, we divide both sides by 12. Again, I'm going to leave this as a fraction. We find that height is 1 over 12. That's our first step, is to find that height. Now that I've got the height, I can start to go take a look and answer the question that's provided to me, which says, find the probability that a given class session will run more than 78 minutes. Well, we're going to say 78 is somewhere around here. Again, not perfect, but just put it there. More than would be which way? That would be to the right. To find the probability that they asked us in the second question, in the second part of this problem, we need to just do base times height, right? So how do I find this base? Find the base. We're going to do uh, 82 minus 78, which is 4. So to find the probability that a class session will run longer than 78 minutes, we use greater than for that. It's going to be base times height. My base I just found was 4 times the height of my probability distribution is given right here at 1 over 12. 4 times 1 over 12, I can do a fraction with this, 4 times parentheses 1 over 12. And I'm going to hit math, enter, enter, because I think we get a fraction with this. So again, remember, probabilities can be written as fractions, decimals, or percentages. So the probability that a class run period will run more than 78 minutes is 1 third, or 0 0.33 repeating, or... 33.33 repeating percent, right? Remember, probabilities can get all can be written in all three of these formats, and we should be comfortable listing them in any of those formats. All right, so in the next video, we're going to take a step back from uniform distributions, start taking a look at normal distributions.